Hey there folks, Aldershot here, and today we're going to have a quick look into Turmoil. It's developed by Gamius and it's on sale on Steam at the regular price at around $10 USD. Turmoil is essentially a um, <laughs> Frontiers time, kind of Western uh, oil tycoon simulator. I think that's the best way I can describe it, right? Uh, but anyways, I'll quickly describe what you do, right? So before you actually get into the oil digging parts of turmoil, um, you do have a few options to upgrade uh, whatever that's required to help you get more oil. Like for example, you improve um, your horses, either their speed or the carriage that they carry, so you carry more oil, of course. Uh, then you also have the workshop, which allows you to upgrade the drills and uh, other drill accessories, if you will. For example, I get this mole here, which will do. There we go. Um, we can also go into the salon, or the bar, if you will. And we can do little underhanded, you know, little things. Like, for example, let's talk to our banker, William, here. Uh, we can bribe him with 300 bucks, and our interest rate will be reduced by 20% 20, 20 in our um, little expedition for oil. So we'll do that. We can even bribe the mirror and we'll get a 50% discount in case we spill any oil uh, during our little ex uh, excavation, if you will. But yeah, sure, why not? We'll take, uh, we'll take that bribe. <laughs> or give that bribe, I guess you I should, uh, bleh, I should say. There we go, learning how to speak English is always a good thing. But anyways, we also have the bank, which allows you to take loans, of course. Uh, we don't need to do that right now. We also have the factory, which allows us to improve our equipment. So, a variety of different upgrades. And obviously, the whole point of the game is to make lots and lots of money. Make more money than your competitors. Right now, I'm playing as Joshua, and these guys are my competitors. Daisy, Blanche, and Ricardo. Right? But anyways, um, let's actually start digging. And we do that by going to the town hall. Uh, this is the phase where everyone starts buying up property. Now, if I like this guy's property that he's on, I can actually outbid him. Oops. Um, I didn't mean to do that. But I could have outbid him, right? And <laughs> that would have sent him back into the, uh, the starting area in which he can outbid me by adding more money, etc, etc. But we all got our separate lots picked. And, of course, each lot will have its own kind of random amount of oil. But anyways, let's start this, uh, baby. Let's start this little adventure. Uh, let's go into dig. There we go. It'll take 2,000 from each. And that's going to be our starting amount. So this is all done in real time now. Uh, we have a year to drill. Alright, and this is our timer here. This little calendar. But anyways, let's uh, put down a mole. Sure, and let's put down a couple of these rods here. These dousing rods, they help us look for pools of oil beneath the ground. Now, as you can see, this is a 2D game, right? This isn't like a 3D isometric game that these sorts of genres usually take place in. Rather, it's more a sprite-based, right? It's a little uh, uh, 2D sprite-ish kind of game, if you will. But anyways, looks like our dousers found some oil over here. So we'll put down a couple of these little um, drilling drill hole things. <laughs> I forget what they're called. What are they called? Uh, rigs. There we go. A couple of those rigs and uh, pull down a couple of these um, pipelines, if you will. We found our first patch of oil. Great. As you can see, it does cost money. Now, we're getting oil, but we need a transport, so we'll grab ourselves a little horse and buggy. We'll grab two. Why not? Now, we can sell either to right ink or left ink. Right ink is selling for or buying for more, so we'll sell to those guys. There we go. Now we're pretty low on cash and we still want to keep building because uh, we're still in that phase to do that. So what we're going to do is go into the banker here and borrow 500 bucks. Thank you, sir. And build ourselves a silo. That way, whenever the prices drop below uh, any amount that I perceive to be too low, I can store it in the silo. Uh, I think you call it a silo. What do you call it? Yeah, silo. Uh, that way we can sell it during a time where the prices a bit higher right and it's really all about managing time money spent money's uh, loan and all that kind of stuff so it's basically a business simulator you know so if, I, if I was to put it uh, quickly and shortly you know nice and brief let's see it looks like this guy here has more oil here I'm gonna need a lot more buggy 
for better efficiency. There we go. Um, now I gotta say, the game is fairly addictive, I must say. I poured about two and a half hours into it without even realizing <laughs> the game is actually pretty big. Um, I'm still playing my first campaign, uh, and there's more content. I've finished the first map, and I'm still going through the second map right now. So I can say the game definitely has a fair amount of content uh, for any given player to play through. Uh, although I do find each map, each level, a little bit more re repetitive than the last because, well, we're really just doing this over and over again, right? Uh, the only big difference is some of the upgrades that we can purchase along the way uh, and uh, just to see how well we can do with the upgrades, right? But other than that, there's a lot of this. It's going to be a lot of this, right? Um, and, uh, and also the graphics, you know, although charming, does feel... Um, I don't want to say this too negatively, because I don't really mean it too negatively, but I do find it kind of a mobile-ish, if you know what I mean, the way the game looks. Now, again, that's not necessarily a bad thing. I think the graphics are charming. I think it does the job quite well for what it's trying to do. But I do know some gamers are put off by these sorts of graphics, so I'm going to... I, I feel it's only fear for me to mention it. Again, for me, I don't find it too much of an issue. I actually kind of like the clean look that this game got going. Uh, I like the little subtle music they have in the background as well. I think it's very well suiting to the theme. And I actually kind of enjoy the whole, uh, I guess you can say, balancing act of um, selling oil and managing my money and my equipment and all that kind of stuff. So you're into simulation games. Um, or even uh, economy based games if you understand what I mean this game here um, might actually interest you because it definitely kind of distills those kind of mechanics down to its very very core and actually offers a fair amount of replay and amount of content for the player to experiment with albeit a little bit repetitive as I mentioned earlier but that's basically it that's turmoil uh, definitely interesting definitely interesting oh by the way this game is in early access as well all right but uh yeah yeah not too bad not too bad i definitely enjoyed what i uh, played but uh yeah a little bit repetitive that's really my biggest biggest critique i think but anyways that's about it that's turmoil hopefully you guys found this informative hopefully you found this enjoyable and if you did you know show me some love like share fave and comment if you haven't already subscribed i'll bring you a lot more vidges just like this Thanks for watching guys, Aldo shout out.